Welcome back. Konius here. Today I'm flying from Hoquiam, Washington to Astoria, Oregon. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of 3,500 feet. Possibly might change depending on the clouds. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to put the flaps up. I don't think I need those. On the other hand, this is a very short runway. Maybe I should keep those down. Okay. Take off the parking brake, and let's get going. Still getting used to staying going straight down the runway. Okay, I think the flaps are coming in handy. It is a very short runway, so we did need them. Let's go ahead and get some altitude before putting those up. We do have a positive climb rate. Let's put the landing gear up. And put the flaps up. Type Beechcraft King Air 1 miles west of Kilo Hotel, Quebec, Mike 600 feet. Request flight following. KA 4999, Seattle Center. Squawk 3205. Squawk 3205, KA 4999. It's a rather overcast afternoon on a otherwise bright sunny day. Okay, time to make my turn. Roger, KA four nine nine. Like my flight number this time for nine nine. That sounds really cool. Okay, continuing to climb while we make this turn. I dropped in speed a bit. But that should be fine. Let's continue on our turn. So, we're now in the direction of Astoria, Oregon. Don't have a perfect lineup with the heading. I'm also at altitude. I'm going to go ahead and go inside. Actually, I want 3,500. Let's go ahead and engage autopilot and yaw damper. It's going to get us onto a proper heading. Which obviously I should have done, but I didn't manage. Doesn't a whole lot to see out here. See some vegetation under the fog. I'm 
not sure if I'd have to be instrument rated to make this flight in real life. I kind of feel like I would have to be with all this low visibility. Although it hasn't completely washed out, so maybe maybe I'd be okay. We're approaching the airport pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and back off the throttle. Start slowing down. even if very misty and a little hard to see. I really like to use the real-time weather when I record these flights. I feel like it's fun to experience the different weathers, weather patterns, not just clear sky all the time during the middle of the day. Okay, I'm going to continue backing off the throttle a bit more and try to get maybe closer to 170. At this point I think I can disengage autopilot and take over. Still can't see anything, but I've got all my instrumentation here. Yes, we are dropping in altitude. That's true. I was going to say it's kind of hard to see, but even if I pop my head up, there isn't anything to look at. So, there's no point in trying to improve visibility much. Okay, I'm going to drop the throttle some more. Try to keep gradually dropping that speed. Don't want to lose too much altitude, I'll need it for the landing pattern. I'm going to go ahead and contact them now. Okay, it's a little hard to do that and steer the plane at the same time. Seattle Center, KA four nine nine or three thousand feet. KA four nine nine or Seattle Center, Altim under two nine or decimal seven two continue as planned. Okay, and so to get the landing pattern to show up, let's. Go find KAST, runway 14. There we go. Kilo Alpha Sierra Tango traffic KA49 or 25 miles north, 3,000 feet inbound to land runway 14. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put down my approach flaps. Bring the throttle back up to 50%. Although I might not need to, but we'll see. Alright, well the pattern entry is still a ways away, but we're going at a safe speed. Don't really don't want to be climbing too much. Yeah, you really just cannot see anything. This would be scary as a new pilot, not used to. Starting to see something now. hard to fly from the outside once you've adapted to flying from the inside. Just 
see any too much altitude there, so I'm going to drop down a bit. I can hear rain on the windshield. I don't think I need the wipers yet, though. Okay, I'm going to bring the throttle back down below 50%. Try to lose some of the speed and altitude. Flight director is trying to get me to head towards the runway, but I'm instead heading towards the pattern entry. Shortly we should be able to see it. I'm dropping an altitude again, so let's pick up some, pick the nose up a bit, pick up some altitude, drop our speed at the same time. It's very bumpy and rainy, but I still don't see the need for the windshield wipers. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of a boost on the throttle. Don't want to get too much slower than this. I'd like to enter the pattern at 140. Complete washout, you can't see anything. Yeah, I don't think I would normally be allowed to fly in something like this. Okay, I've dropped altitude again. This seems to happen when I go outside. So we're going to nose up, head straight towards that pattern entry. If I can get the speed down around 150 or so, there we go. have the pattern showing up now, that's good. I'm just going to head towards that marker. I'm going to drop the throttle just a tad. Okay, I might have to make a U-turn to get into that thing. And I've gained altitude again. So let's burn some of that off. Don't think I'm going to hit anything below me. It looks like we're probably high enough off the ground according to the Garmin. I do have a bunch of extra altitude, which I could convert back into speed at this point. Although maybe the pattern entry wants me to be a bit higher. It's a little hard to judge, so maybe I'll go ahead and keep this altitude. I've done a little just to see where I'm going. Turn a little bit, get ready to enter the pattern straight in. Side, I can get a better look at it. Okay, I should shortly be able to make my turn into it. 
Maybe if I step back my view, I can get a better idea of where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I clearly don't need any more altitude. I also don't need any more speed. I will lose some of that during the turn, I think. Nevertheless, I am going to drop the throttle some more. Yeah, we have a ways to go before we hit the entrance. At least I can see clearly now where it is. It's a little hard to divide attention sometimes. Okay, our speed's fine, I think. Just need to soon make my turn into that entrance. I can start doing that now. Yeah, yeah, I am losing turn, losing speed on this turn. I'm gonna give it some throttle. Let's see where I'm at. Altitude of the entrance. I think I managed to do that. Still going too fast. I'm going to pull throttle back a bit. And make the rest of my turn into the pattern entrance. It's very bumpy out here. I think I'm a little bit short, but I can turn into it, I think, just fine. Maybe I'll head a little bit more towards the entrance before I turn into it. on the throttle and I'm going to go ahead and start turning in. I'm going to begin ascending to get in line with it, so I think I'll drop throttle even more at this point. I'm going to have to burn off a lot of speed. This is kind of too fast. Landing yeah, I'll put the landing gear down. It happens when you drop the throttle all the way down. Okay, but we're approaching a good speed, I think. Got the throttle all the way down. So we should drop down to an acceptable speed and it'll give us some more thrust at that point. Yeah, the too fast thing won't last for long. Alright, giving it a little bit of throttle. We're a little on the low side. I'm going to gravitate towards the right side and hug it. back on the throttle, see if we can get our speed down to, I think, below 127. Okay, I've gone all the way down in the throttle. So 
know, we're just gliding at this point. I keep an eye on my speed. I don't want to let it drop too much on this turn. I think it's dropping a bit much. I'm going to go ahead and give it some more throttle. Focus on making a nice clean turn. Yep, we're going too fast, but we'll be able to fix that. Windows up a bit. I can take care of that problem. There we go. I feel like we're dropping speed a bit. I'm going to give it some more throttle. Try to keep it below 127, but. below 120. Alright, now we're going to have to drop it some more. I'm going to go ahead and put down the landing flaps, go up to 50% throttle. That might be too much, actually. Let's pull back on the throttle. Make this turn and see where we land and where we get to. Uh, speed wise, and we're going pretty slow at the moment. But we're also dropping a lot, so I think that's going to help. Just really continuously keeping an eye on the throttle and everything else. We ideally want to be going below 117. get visual on the runway. I think we're going a little on the slow side. Actually, maybe we're, maybe we're okay at this speed. I'm going to pull back on the throttle a bit more. Okay, I've got all the way on idle now. I'm going to pull up give it a little puff, get us over these trees, all right, get to the runway, and flare up a bit, Woo. there we go, don't want to gain altitude, just want to flare up, that kind of a little bit rough, Rudder is failing me there for a second. Let's put the brakes on, flaps up. And we'll roll off the runway over here. Yeah, it felt a little rough, but I don't think the plane would have minded that. Okay, so I think I can announce clear or ask for taxi to parking. Okay. Kilo Hotel, okay. Quebec Mike Traffic KA four nine er nine er is clear of the runway. Okay, I think we're on our own now, just to find our own parking. Here we are in Astoria, Oregon. I've heard the name before. I don't know what, really what this place is known for, but obviously they've got an airport. Let's give us some more thrust here. Looks like I see parking coming up here over on the left. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn in this direction. Looks like they've got a jet fighter here of some kind.
Okay, so let's see, can I park here? Yeah, I think that's fine. I doubt anybody will complain. Shut those engines down. I think I've got the parking brake on. Yep. Look around a little bit here. Yeah, this is a bright sunny day in Astoria, Oregon. I had all those lights on the whole flight. I should have trimmed those off. Alright, I'm going to switch off the plane. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.